Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, I'm a huge Metal Gear Solid fan, and I've been a fan of the series since Sons of Liberty. I didn't play the original because I was more of a Nintendo 64 kid and not a PlayStation 1 kid, but obviously I've gone back multiple times and played through them all. And in front of me, I'm going to do a little unboxing. I have the Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain watch. This is the same watch that Venom Snake wore throughout the Phantom Pain. I don't have a Phantom Cigar, so I'm not going to vape in this episode. Um, this is not going to be a full review. This is more of just an unboxing. Uh, I've tried to find some unboxings online, but I haven't really been able to find anything. So I figured, hey, why not? Let's show you the packaging because the, the packaging is really cool. It has some really nice artwork. So let's flip the camera and take a look at the Metal Gear Solid 5 watch. So it's a collaborative effort between Wired, which is a subsidiary of Seiko, and Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, so let's just open up this box here, this top lid. Here we go. So right here says Wired Metal Gear Solid 5. Um, some Japanese text, which I assume says the same thing. So here we go. All right, put this flap down here. We'll take the top lid off. Don't want to expose the watch just yet because there's some cool artwork underneath here. Let's take this lid off. Here is Venom Snake um, with the bionic arm and the watch on the NATO strap. This artwork is from uh, Yoji Sankawa, so um, the detailing on it is very nice. It's actually textured a little bit. Uh, has wired Metal Gear Solid 5 there at the bottom. Yeah, this artwork is very nice. It's a shame that it's hidden under, uh, you know, hidden away underneath that foam. But yeah, it's very nice artwork. I like that. I'll get a couple close up shots. All right, so we'll put this foam away here. Put it off to the side. Okay, here we go. Let's zoom in a little bit here. And there it is, the Metal Gear Solid 5 watch. It comes with the, um, the NATO strap here off to the side. Uh, I have never worn this actually, surprisingly. I'm not the biggest NATO strap guy. So, I mean, it makes sense why I wouldn't wear it, but yeah, I'll have to uh, put it on for the full review and actually give it a try. So I'm excited to review, I mean, I've owned this watch for quite a number of years, so I'm excited to review it officially. But yeah, so here it is. Comes in like a nice little hard styrofoam. Let me actually, before I get into the watch, because, you know, let's see what else, if there's anything else underneath here. Nothing under there. Just um, the wired instruction manual. Tells you how to set the watch and everything. I haven't really looked at this. There might be some, I was gonna say if there's some, like, you know, Kojima hid something in here, but I don't believe there is. Let's see, and then underneath this, there is just the tag, um, how to remove links, stuff like that. Spare thing just from mere sizing everything. So let's take a look at that watch. Like I said, I've owned this watch for quite a few years. Here it is. Very chunky watch, very big. Um, pretty hefty too, these are numbered. And this one is 2411 out of 2500. On the back there, water resistant up to, what does that say, 10 bar? So 100 meters. So yeah, I mean, this is basically the watch um, worn in game. His is obviously on the NATO strap, not on the metal bracelet, but you know, you have everything here, the adjust, you can adjust, um, I guess the mode first. So you have a stopwatch function. Alarms and everything. I usually go with this, it has the date at the bottom. It's a light here, backlight. 
that you press every now and again. I think it lasts for two seconds. Yep, two seconds. Um, I haven't gone through all these modes here, so I'm not sure exactly what this does. Oh, that's just the, if you want the clicking sound. Which I don't know if I, why I don't put that on there, but. Oh yeah, that sounds nice. So that's the watch itself. Very nice on the wrist. I just uh, give it a little bath right now. I guess let me pop it on and see. Right now I'm wearing my Yema Superman GMT, so I'll take that off. I will pop on the wired watch here. Now I have a seven and a half inch wrist. So there's the wrist shot of it. I get so many compliments on this watch whenever I'm wearing it because it's just, you don't see a watch like this out much. People are like, oh, what kind of watch is that? What is what? What is that? So I have to explain it to them, but it's really nice. I really feel like Solid Snake, or I saw it's like Venom Snake whenever I uh, wear this. So it feels really cool. I can't wait to do the review on it. Um, spoiler alert, I love this watch, so <laughs> there's that. So if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up, comment below, um, look out for the full review. I'll probably do that video in the next couple weeks here. So if you'd like to, subscribe to my channel so you can see more of these videos. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.